Hey, Jackie K here, bringing you more Pokemon XD goodness. In the last part, we tried to steal stuff from Dr. K. Meat Gill's house and are about to get home by Ground Town. No, we're not stealing, but that's what these geniuses that are moronic, ironically, think. How come a lot of geniuses in video games are also incredibly stupid? Like Dr. Eggman! But enough about other games. Let's get back to this one. off of a future site, even though I get the feeling it's not going to be too useful. And Fresh is going to pwn something. Well, no, it doesn't. Come on, Sparrow, you can take it out! It's super effective. And here comes the sunny day. Now, that would have been sweet if we actually fought against Robo Garandon itself, not just some Pokemon that froze out of its hand. But a test, Pokemon's not the world of Pokemon's not that powerful in this logic in that. Or just game developers aren't game developers aren't creative enough to make fixed bosses yet. And Shadow Sparrow just got pwned. Now let's bring out Cotton Falcon again. Cause it's moves! Should be able to take out that Gyarados. And boy, yeah, them floor are just in in green. Which is probably gonna make it real noise. Except we almost got it taken care of anyways. Just air you waste it. Thunder shock the Gyarados. And we should be pretty well on our way. You know what a battle. Sorry, I can't talk because I'm holding back a burger. I didn't just say that out loud, did I? Oh, it's gonna bite us! Yes! Cotton Falcon saves the day! Is there any mean annoyingness? Somehow leered it away from using bite on what would have been super effective. And there's Future Sight. Just like I thought, it didn't turn out to be too useful. However, we almost got this in the bag and... Oh my god, a leaf seed! The Lorvia memories are coming back! But we won't hit KO'd it! That's not too bad! Yes! Cotton Falcons at level 28! Only two more levels before I can learn the move! And hopefully I don't kill Captain Falcons. What am I trying to say? Hopefully I don't dole out Captain Falcon before it even learns the move. Because I'm already at a good rate of doing just that. Of all the Captain Falcon references I'm making. And we already got Robo Ground down to one Pokemon. But that stupid Leech Seed is gonna cause problems. Or at least be annoying. Wonder if Heal Bell will take out Leech Seed. It's worth trying. Come on, Aerial Ace it. Come on! Bell, ding dong. That's probably the first and last time we're ever gonna hear this move in battle, and I just ruined it with, by commentating over it. Nope, Leech Seed didn't stop it. 
wonder if I should heal or just let actually go down like a man. Heck. It's not worth wasting a healing item. And come on. Well, maybe Captain Falcon will finish it. And we won't have to worry about actually fainting. And no, I have not come up with a good name for Axe I only nickname I thought of is maybe Yoda. I don't know. I haven't thought of what to call Axe And I'm not about... I'm not quite ready. Heck, someone's probably gonna leave for just what to name it anyways, so... I'm not gonna stop them, but... I'll come up with something if no one else does. And we almost got Tropius down. However, it took half the video. Yay for us! Do you guys now realize why I speed up Pokemon battles? Unfortunately for you guys, I consider this a kind of important fight. So I'm not speeding it up. Kind of important just because it has boss music playing. <laughs> yeah, that's my policy. If it has boss music playing, then I don't speed it up. <laughs> Hmm, Jane Chomp is gonna learn Swagger. That could be useful. Slightly more useful than Howl, but... Heck, I'll replace it. Cause, if I want to increase the attack of something, I can use Swagger on myself, or at least the other Pokémon, and just use a healing move that can take care of you. Oh no, Robo Groudon is breaking because we won a Pokemon battle. How does that work? But, but, how could this be? My Robo Groudon goes down in defeat? It's a Pokemon battle. Oh, uh huh? On closer inspection, his jacket. It's been a while. What do you mean it's been a while? I was just over at your place, like, less than five videos ago to get a battle CD. No, he gave me permission to take anything that was in the crane room. That's not stealing. I guess no wonder they confuse me for a burglar all the time. Well, why are alleged burglar? It's merely Japan's blood, ink, and a child, no less? Ah, enough, enough of this nonsense. Given the Robo Ground on his utter failure, the half-built Robo Cairo doesn't inspire confidence. I doubt it'll ever be useful. Playing this game about time? There's a lot of irony in what you just said. Jump in! See that his robo Cairo is exposed as scrap by Ken and Parsha. Understood? Oh, we're dropping the outfit on robo Cairo. It's finished! Over! Done with! Come on! The whole robo Pokemon thing is cancelled! Oh, what? Doctor, wait! Jump in with it like to keep robo Crown done. Hmm! I have no interest in any robot scrap. As you wish. Oh, I can't believe we just ruined that Pokemon stream. <sighs> After all we did to bring it so close to completion. Chopin wants to know what brought you today. Chopin sees, you want to see the parts of me. He's in the mirror. Chopin suggests you go in and have a look. In the meantime, Chopin wants to put away the Robo Ground on. Oh yes, Chopin would like your PDA number, if you'd be so kind. It's number, 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 PK Starstorm, number, number. Chopin will modify Robo Ground that. He would like to have a rematch when his work is done. Okay, our time. We have enough time to go in there, I guess. And we have enough time to go over here, and we'll end the video here. In the next part of our LP, we will go pick up the guy we were looking for. Like we should have done two videos ago. Except for this rubble ground on shenanigans stopped us. So until next time. Bye everybody. I'm walking backwards. Or trying. Bye.